Welcome to another episode of Nerd of All Trades, where you collect what you love. Uh, my name is Darius, and I am here to do another unboxing video with you guys today. This one is going to be going back to our Marvel section of things. Um, Marvel has definitely been very popular. Everyone, everyone really loves Marvel, so of course I do as well as a collector too. And I am actually really freaking excited to open this statue today. This is one that I have looked for for a while on eBay. I was searching and searching and I actually found a few different statues for this particular character. Uh, and from there I made my choice. I went blue. <laughs> this guy. Uh, this guy right here. This is the stealth version of Iron Man. And they actually had of course a standard red and yellow. That was still really awesome. I was looking at that one originally. I found a gentleman who was selling this one for, I think I got him from 150, which is normally my limit for a statue. Um, and once I found it, I was just like, okay, I got to go for this one. It, it's different. It's I'm still going to get a standard looking Iron Man eventually, but I really just had to go for the stealth suit version. Uh, not a lot of people in collections really have any type of stealth suit version of Iron Man, or at least people that I know that collect statues or that I've seen. Uh, so this one was just really calling my name, and I thought I would be different for for a little bit. And this one I'm really excited for. Uh, again, this is one of those statues that I saw online, especially on eBay, ranging from about $250 to $400. Uh, they were very limited on this statue. They had the red and red and yellow that again is going to be more of your standard version of the statue. It's actually the same design as the red and yellow. Again, they just made it all blue uh, for the stealth suit version. So we're going to do what we're here for. And we're going to unbox this baby and we're going to have fun doing it. And Iron Man, so <laughs> to be truthful, Iron Man originally when I was getting into comics was very cool. I still love his suit and everything, but uh, Stark as a character in the comic books, uh, I started reading uh, Marvel books around, of course, Civil War. That was one of the first books that a lot of people kept telling me, hey, check this story out. This is a big Marvel story. Read this book. Read this book. I'm going to kick you in the butt. So I definitely decided to read Civil War, and I was not disappointed, but I will say that I'm one of the Captain America fans. In that storyline so you can fight me about that but i like captain america and i love that storyline for his sake all right let's get this baby out but yeah so reading about stark there and i didn't really like stark's point of view uh from a lot of things but back in high school as well i had a teacher who i was going through a really tough time and he he realized that i was kind of like him growing up uh, I started pushing people away. I was going through a really tough time and he handed me comic books. He handed me All-Star Superman. He handed me the Mighty Thor series. He also handed me the Invincible Iron Man series that actually took place after the events of Civil War. So reading that series, I was like, man, I don't, I don't want to read this crap. Oh, he also handed me uh, Dark Knight Returns. Uh, or not Dark. Yes, Dark Knight Returns. So he handed me all these books and he was just like, here, I read them. I think you would really enjoy these stories. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, I'll give them a shot. Uh, why not? And actually, I loved every single last one of them, to be completely honest. Uh, they were the reasons that that made me go more into comic books than to anime, actually. Uh, I just loved how the stories were, how driven they were, and the Iron Man one in particular, like, I think I was at Ed McKay's a few years ago and they had the omnibus of that series and I flipped out because I was like, man, I need this. I need this Iron Man story. It's like my favorite Iron Man story to date. Um, so that one. So that's what really made me actually start getting into Iron Man was that story. Civil War kind of made me feel like Iron Man was just kind of like a, to be completely honest with you, an ass. Uh, but the story that followed actually made me really like Stark a lot more. Uh, it made me respect him a little bit more. It made me view him as a superhero, which is what comic books are supposed to do. 
So, for my first Stark statue, Iron Man statue, I really just, again, uh, wanted something different. I saw the stealth suit in one of his stories, and I fell in love with it. Uh, I actually like more darker colors, of course, but I still love the standard red and yellow. Um, so, the stealth, so having the blue color, I just thought was very cool about it. So, this is the beautiful... Oh, hold on. I'm gonna rip this off first. <laughs> it was super taped. So I'm gonna show this first. This is actually going to be the beautiful Iron Man statue here. Um, let's actually do it this way so it doesn't say I'm about to drop him. Let's get the styrofoam off of him too. So this is the beautiful statue here. I just think this is absolutely amazing. Um, the paint job that they have done, I actually, like again, I saw the uh, red and yellow version of this and it looks really cool, but I just think this one definitely takes the cake for me. Um, if you are an Iron Man fan and you definitely wanted something different for Iron Man compared to his standard red and yellow, I think this one is really a steal. Uh, this would be cool to just have in your collection alone for Iron Man if you want something different. I don't know if they've really made other suits. Um, I know I've seen the Hulkbuster, because, of course, because Avengers Infinity War um and also age of ultron but outside of that searching for iron man stuff i haven't really seen a lot of his other suits um or at least ones like this you see a few different variations of ones over the years uh like i actually saw the extremist suit on ebay and i thought that would be pretty cool to get uh so that may be the one that i'll actually probably purchase uh for another iron man statue on a later date but for a first one, stealth suit all the way. Uh, this guy is just really gorgeous. Um, I just definitely love the paint job on this one. I love the blue. Um, this is, again, going to be something that most people looking at Iron Man would not expect. So I think the joy of this is just going to be uh, when a friend walks in and they look at my collection and they just see the Iron Man sitting there and they're just like, what is that? And you're just like, oh, this guy? This guy is stealth suit Iron Man. And you see at the bottom, uh, he actually has um, fire coming out of his boots just because he's taking off. Uh, he's doing his little Iron Man pose in midair. He's about to go. He's about to save the world. It looks like he's going to be like, hey, he's going to go from there. He's going to be like, I got this, guys. You could take a seat back, Cap. I got this. I got this. And the base also shows it, too, where he is actually taking off as well. Uh, the base is very cool. I actually really enjoy that they, they've done it in this sense. Uh, again, it's a very dynamic pose for Stark itself because this is just something that you see him doing. You just see him always sitting there just kind of like flying around. Even in video games, movies, kind of sort of, Stark is kind of like the one in midair just kind of like doing a heroic pose, just ready to do battle majority of the time. Kind of being snarky about it, but he's ready. He's ready. So let's go ahead and add this on to here. So this terrifies me a little bit because actually all that's holding on to this statue is this little fire piece here. You actually put the little prong in there for it to hold on to. Uh, but it seems like they made this pretty solid so that way you really won't have to worry about him tipping forward or anything like that. He's a really solid piece. So that is good because uh, some some statues will kind of have like a little, a little prong sometimes to hold things on to and you're kind of worried about will this tip over or not. But it seems like they really built this part to hold him uh, hold him up. But this is him all together in the base itself. Um, again, taking off, having the rocket, having the rocket boost is giving it more of a dynamic pose that I definitely really like. Uh, it's either you get something like this for Iron Man or you, of course, get the signature him holding out his hand. Uh, and I've seen a few of those. So I think that will kind of be like, again, that's what the extremist suit was that I was looking at on eBay. So I think that one will come later, but I really just thought this one spoke to me a little bit more, a little bit differently. Um, but from there, this is also actually from a series that they don't really make anymore. Uh, you hear about Sideshow, you hear about Iron Studios, uh, you hear about Diamond Select, you hear about quite a few of those, uh, few of those statues, statue creators, but this one actually comes from Bowen Designs. I I have really fallen in love with this with this line of statues honestly. They 
are older, but they are awesome, especially especially if you are looking for comic book versions of the characters. They have fantastic jobs. Um, again, they did this one. They did a standard Iron Man. They have done, I think, a Scarlet Witch that I've seen that I've really liked. Uh, they have a Storm statue that I absolutely love as well. And if you find a decent seller on eBay who's actually selling these guys for a very fair price, they are worth it. They are worth the design. They are worth the time that they put into this statue. I love this stuff. I really, let me see if I could find the sculptor on here. Ooh. I'm going to just, I'm just show you guys the name because I, <laughs> I am not going to try to say that. I really don't want to butcher it. Um, this is the sculptor here. Uh, it seems like they're brothers. They worked on this and you could tell that they probably had love for Iron Man while sculpting this statue itself. Um, again, it is just really awesome. It's just really awesome to see every detail on this statue. It is blowing my mind. Like I, it's one of those things that for a first Iron Man statue, I'm very proud of myself for choosing this statue while also just being wowed by the paint job, by the pose. Um, of course, if, if I was if I was able to customize the statue a little bit, I would love to have lights coming, um, shining through here because this is actually kind of see through, and it would be cool to kind of have it lighting up like the like the rockets are actually on fire while he's taking off. Um, again, I'm not that I'm not that creative with statues. Plus, I don't want to alter too much about them. But I thought that would be really cool to actually bring up. But yes, stealth suit Iron Man. I love this statue, guys. I really do. Um, I think this is going to be one of my favorite pieces to look at for a while. Um, even if I if I ever had to sell a statue, this one would be really hard for me to uh, let go unless there was something else that I personally knew that I wanted more uh, to replace Iron Man. But I think this one is going to definitely be one of my definitive pieces. I love the stealth suit. Um, and I just think that this statue really does a great job of capturing that all together. If you are a big uh, Iron Man fan, anything at all, even if you're a movie Iron Man fan, but you still want a great statue of Iron Man, if you can find this guy for a really great price, I would highly recommend this statue. Again, I found this one luckily. Uh, actually, I did a make an offer for the statue to bring it down to the 150. I think after shipping, it came up to be 150. Um, the guy was just trying to let it go because he was trying to make more room for more statues. And it seems like this is one of the pieces that he just thought it was time to let go. Uh, so I was very lucky to actually get this one. Again, every other statue that I saw for the stealth suit Iron Man was roughly about 200 to $250 to $400. Uh, and again, I was just like, at first I was like, no, it's really cool. But that's just a little bit too much money for me. Uh, but I was really lucky to get this one. The guy was super nice. He was just like, hey, uh, I think this piece is amazing. I am going to secure it and uh, package it very neatly for you uh, because he really had passion about it. And I, I, I feel like I want to message that guy and be like, hey, this, this statue is awesome. I want you to know that it has a good home in my collection. Um, so, yes, this is a beautiful piece. I really hope you guys like it. Again, let me know in the comments about what you feel about this Iron Man piece altogether. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, I know some people have different suits that they would personally prefer for Iron Man themselves, but I think this piece is just simply amazing for what I'm looking for. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this Iron Man. Give this video a like if you're a big Iron Man fan and if you think this statue is awesome. And also, if you guys can, if you're newcomers to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I will be doing more unboxings. And as time goes on, I will definitely try to evolve more uh, and show you guys some more awesome stuff. But I hope everyone is doing great and I'll see you next time.